Hi, this is Debbie from Socan. You're watching Trucker Josh with his friend Diesel. Enjoy the show. What's up, people? Finally back in the truck. Just headed out here to pick up our trailer. Got a load of crates that are going to Saskatchewan. I think I've got something like six drops. I'm gonna try to get as many done tomorrow as possible. Our first one is in Rokenville, Saskatchewan, and our last one's in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. We're gonna be buzzing around uh, Eastern Saskatchewan all day tomorrow, so hopefully I can get most of them done. If not, we can finish up Friday morning, the day after tomorrow. And then uh, we've got a load of lumber taking us back home for the weekend and then uh, on down to Wisconsin next week. Well, Weasel, how's it feel to be back in the truck, man? It's pretty good, pretty good. My natural habitat is very nice, thank you. You gonna help me tie this load down or what? No comment? Help me tie this thing down? Oh, down out of the truck. Okay, so, like I said, crates. No idea what's in these crates, no idea at all. Not one clue. But I have three, six, 12, what is a six times three, 18. And I got another four on the front. It's a little windy here, I'm trying to keep you guys out of the wind. It's 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 22 crates of random stuff. No idea what it is. It makes me kind of think that winter's coming soon, you know? it's. This weird feeling it gives me. I don't know. It might be things for summer as well. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's tie them down and let's get going. Going to Saskatchewan. Let's check under here to make sure whoever dropped this didn't dump the airbags. They did. Or is that full? I gotta hook up the truck first. We're gonna come back and check that once I send air through here. All right, so what I've done here is I've parked lengthwise to the wind, or no, cross wide to the, uh, the wind is going that way. So I park this way, I throw the straps over from that side so the wind actually carries them over. This is a pretty high load to get these long straps over. So the wind actually carries them over this way instead of blowing them off, because if I was parked because if I was parked like this way here, the wind is going this way. Every strap I'd throw over would just get blown off that way, right? So this way, it stays on. I don't have to worry about it. Then if I want to throw straps over from this side later, I just turn the truck around and the same thing that way. That way you use the wind to your advantage. And you use the wind's tricks against itself. I really don't like the wind because it, it messes with flat betters a lot when we're trying to tie down our loads, tarp our loads. Nothing more annoying than a good gust of wind. So this way, you use it against itself for your benefit. Does that make sense? I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's finish. Let's finish so we can go to work. Get driving. Well, I got her all tied down there. Like I said, we got like seven stops, six, seven stops. I got this just mountain of paperwork here. I got half a tree here for me. Let's see. First delivery, Rokenville, Saskatchewan. Second delivery. Why is there two invoices for that? Huh. Oh. Each unit has its own invoice? Okay. Yep, each unit has its own invoice. Well, that's a lot of extra paper. You could all could have just put all the units on the same invoice for the same customer. But hey, whatever. Who am I to say? I just deliver things. I don't make these rules. <laughs> I got three invoices for Rokenville. They're taking three units. I should go find out which units they are so I know where they are when I pull up, so I know which direction to pull up from so they can get at it easy. But from Rokenville, we're going to uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Then Emerald Park, Saskatchewan. They're both taking one unit. Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan's taking one, I believe. Yep. Humboldt, Saskatchewan, that's a pretty well-known town now because of that accident involving that uh, driver who hit that bus in that tragic accident. So we're going to Humboldt. 
Uh, they're taking well, at least two. Oh, they did this thing here too. Three, three units, three invoices so far, three units. Okay, three units, three invoices. Prince Albert, I believe that's my last stop. They are taking the rest. Wow, the rest of all these papers are up. Every single crate has its own paper and invoice. Two copies, one for me, one for them. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that, whatever. I'm just gonna go out there, figure out which ones are my first delivery. We've already done our pre-trip, so we're already ready to rock and roll here. I got my weasel here with me. Maybe he needs to go out. Diesel, you need to go outside. Yep, he's telling me he needs to go outside. Okay, all right. Now I guess I should take these uh, papers out with me. Okay, so the first three are on the back, on the top. Two on one side, two on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. So uh, at least I know I just gotta take those straps off, not all of them, at the first drop. Okay, so I'm gonna go punch this address into my, oh, that wasn't it. Oh, first I gotta say we're going to Rokanville. Rokanville, Rokan, Rokane, Rokanville. Uh, get this address right. Come on, Mandy. Don't lead me astray, I will throw you out the window. I can be a mean guy, tell you what. Oh, Rokenville's a tiny little town. Okay. What? Oh, it's my wife. Hello. Make sure, make sure you stop to pick up some toothpaste before you stop for the night. You forgot yours here at home, honey. Oh. Nice to know. Good to know. Please drive to Highlight Drive. Thank you. Big smiley face. Thumbs up. Big smiley face. I'm up to date with the emojis. Not that old yet. 407 kilometers. So we're gonna be going west. Let's, here, I'll show you this here. Can you see it? Can't really see it, eh? The glare is pretty bad. From Winnipeg west to about Mooseman and then straight north. Okay. You guys probably saw the map at the beginning of the video anyways, right? So uh, I'll probably go up to Mooseman and stay there. I think that's where I have to turn, right? Right at... Probably stay at the... Yeah, right at Mooseman. And that's where we'll stay for the night. And Rokenville's just north of that. Okay, perfect! We know where we're going. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? I'm excited. Good to be, ow! Good to be back on the road. Apparently I need to start wearing elbow pads. Trucking's dangerous. Always wear your protection. PPE, per, per, personal protective equipment. I think that's what it stands for. I don't even know. All I know is when they say PPE required, I gotta get all dressed up. I was thinking about getting a vest for diesel. What do you think? I'm gonna get it on Amazon or something. I'm gonna shop around and get a vest for you. Hey diesel, you want a vest? Technically, you're supposed to wear a vest when you're out in the yard here, man. I'm gonna get yelled at for not putting a vest on you one of these days. I don't know if it applies to dogs. Maybe they're exempt. Lucky. Seatbelts on. Lights are on. Brakes are not on. Brake trip is done. Sent in, submitted. Everything's working. Put it in gear. Don't forget that. Very important. And here we go. I'm just gonna do a little tug test just to make sure my trailer's not gonna fall off. Whoop! Oh, 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 no. Good. It'd be terribly embarrassing if my trailer fell off. Just turning on to the south perimeter of Winnipeg and uh, we'll be headed westbound, but the eastbound side is backed up for as far as the eye can see. I see emergency lights down the road too, so there must have been a bad accident. Oh man, that always sucks. You'll see all the cars lined up here going the opposite direction. I wanna say I hope everyone's okay, but if you know they had to close the busiest highway in the south side of Winnipeg, you know it's probably pretty bad. Yeah. 
backed up. Well, our direction's still open, so that's good. Good for us. So it's about three and three quarter hour of driving. Kilometers on Highway 100 West. Something like that, and uh, we'll be in Mooseman. There's that co-op there with the Tim Hortons. That's where we'll spend the night tonight. Saskatchewan during this time of year is in mountain time, and I'm in central time here. So uh, we're actually gaining an hour as soon as we get into Saskatchewan, which is pretty cool. Get an extra hour of sleep tonight. But then we lose the hour when we come back, so there you go. truck. It was completely bug free this morning. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera or not. But covered in bugs again. Clean truck doesn't last very long but it's better than just not washing it at all right? So we're uh, on the west edge of Manitoba right now on Highway 1 Trans Canada. Uh, flying through the southern part of the province here. Now we have about another 45 minutes to where we're going to stop for night. Mooseman. We're just going through, uh, I believe this is a national uh, provincial park. Maybe not. <laughs> not too sure. But it is a nice area here of just sort of some wild forests. Really got to watch out for the wildlife here. A lot of wildlife that uh, show up alongside the roadways at this time right after the sun goes down right at dusk uh, I think I call it during the twilight hour right that's when the deer like to come right up to the highway and have a little bit of a late night snack or late evening snack in the ditches and sometimes they I don't know, feel like seeing what's in the other ditch on the other side of the road right and that's where you come in just gotta keep your eyes open at this time of day. We've killed about two million bugs on our way here now. Just pulling into the co-op at Mooseman. I'm actually pretty tired. I'm going, going to bed. Well, now you put your signal on, buddy. Okay. All right. See, if you would have put that on at a more decent time, I would have known you were turning. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. How about you? Are you turning, good buddy? Another guy coming here. I don't know if he's turning or not. They never put the turn signals on at the right times. No, you're going straight. No, you're turning. No, you're going straight. Okay. You never know. You never really, you can't trust people on the road to use their turn signals properly. You just can't trust them. How about you, buddy? You know, okay, I'm going now. A little break in traffic. So hopefully we can find a good parking spot here, just off to the left, where we can have a nice quiet night. Wash our windshield. We'll have to get some more uh, washer fluid for this truck in the morning. My gauge says I'm getting a little low. I really like that there's a warning gauge in here that tells me when my washer fluid is low. 
much better than just, you know, suddenly running out when you actually really need it. You should always have extra stuff in your truck, but sometimes, you know, you, sometimes you don't. It's nice to have a little warning either way. And sometimes you just can't pull over and add more. Like if you're in traffic and you need it, Okay, so here local time is 9.20, at home it's 10.20. So I'm sure Britt is just getting ready for bed now as well. Well, we found our parking spot here at the back of the parking lot. And I specifically, specifically picked one right at the back. Guess what happened? It didn't even take 15 minutes and someone came and parked right beside me here, Mr. Searcy. I, I was way off in the back corner, all alone. And there's, it's a huge empty parking lot, right? Lots of room, lots of room. You can park anywhere you want to. Less than 15 minutes, I got this guy, pulls in here, parks right beside me, all crooked, taking up three spots, revs up his engine with his engine fan, which is just ridiculously loud, kicking on and off every five minutes. Pulled the curtains, went to bed. Mr. Searcy. He's taking up three spots and he got out and walked around his truck and he looked at it too. He saw that he was parked completely crooked. Didn't care. This day did not end the way I wanted it to. I feel like I should move. I'm already all parked and once I move my e-log kicks back on again. So I just, I did start. I still got the hours. I've only been here for like 11 minutes now. So it was less than that. I guess I should go into off duty. No, not off duty, sleeper berth. Cause I'm going into the sleeper berth. Oh, I got to mess with this for a little bit. I'm just a little cranky cause it's the end of my day. I don't want to be at work. I got used to being at home and first day on the road's always kind of, <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I still love my job and uh, I'm excited to be back out here and delivering freight. This is what I love to do. I also love being at home though. So uh, just got to balance the two. Thanks for putting up with me today. I hope you subscribe. If you haven't already hit that like button, find me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm trying to grow those uh, platforms. You can find the links to those down below in the description. If you haven't followed me there already, go follow me on Facebook and Twitter, uh, Instagram, all that stuff's all down below. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be in a better mood in the morning, I promise, as long as this guy stays quiet. I was hoping he'd shut his truck off, but he seems like one of those guys who's going to idle through the night. Oh well. What can you do? Take care, everyone. Life of a trucker. Life of a trucker. Hey, this is Rob from the YouTube channel Rob Motive, coming at you from the sunny state of Texas, USA. And you're watching... Trucker Josh Vlogs.